AI, AI, AI. I mean, it's everywhere we turn these days. I mean, it's cool and all, but where is the humanity? Ladies and gentlemen, I may have found it. YouTube, what's good, y'all? In this video, I'm gonna tell you about a really dope platform I recently came across called My Studio by UAI. It allows you to create and sell AI tools with no coding experience. It'll literally change the way you think about and interact with AI, making it easier to use and can help you make some extra monthly recurrent revenue. Look, if you're anything like me, you may have been skeptical of AI at first. I was like, this is overwhelming. I don't have time to learn this stuff. Are these tools out here to take my job? But something Chris Doe said that really resonated with me was this. It's not gonna be AI that takes your job, okay? It's gonna be someone using AI who takes your job. So embrace it and don't get left behind worried about trivial things while people are out here securing their futures. And we're at a time where you can really become a pioneer in this space, but you gotta get in the game. When a goat speaks, you listen, right? <laughs> so I started to embrace it. I used a few tools like Mid Journey and ChatGPT. I quickly realized like this is powerful stuff, but in order to really get what I need out of it, it needs these long thought out prompts. So when I did use it, the stuff was just okay. If I'm being completely honest, what I got back sounded like AI. Like it had no soul. Like you can read copy today and you can tell like they probably got this out of ChatGPT. But UAI in my studio changed all of that. So UAI is a showcase of over 2000 AIs that are built by people just like you and I. But instead of you dealing directly with models like ChatGPT, UAI has specialized AI tools tailored to specific tasks. So depending on what you wanna do, you choose the AI for it. So if you wanna write blog posts, use one of the blog posts writing AIs. And if you wanna summarize some data, use one of the data analyzing AIs. It's like that there's an app for that <laughs> campaign, but now it's, there's an AI for that. But let me show you a couple of these AIs in action. All right, so first you wanna head over to uai.ai, hit this get started button here and go ahead and sign up. And once you log in, you'll see it says, welcome to my studio. So that is the back end that allows you to create these AIs, but we're gonna go over to explore AIs here, okay? So you can see a ton of different AIs that are available right now. So I just wanted to show you how it works. So one of the ones that I thought was really cool when Dimitri showed it to me was this parenting co-pilot, right? So let's try this one out. So like I said, you can either offer AIs for free or you can charge. So this one is $10 a month, but every AI that has a monthly subscription, you can try for free. So they all have free trials. So I'll go ahead and select try for free. So for this one, it says list the first names of your children and their year of birth, one per line. So I'll go ahead and do that. And that's all it needs for this one. So this functions as a parenting co-pilot, almost like an assistant. So it's read every parenting book and knows everything there is to know about parenting. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much come up with a scenario and see how it helps me. Let's say Jace is throwing a tantrum because he's upset that he's not old enough to download and play Roblox on his iPad like his older siblings. What should I do? This is really good. So it says stay calm, acknowledge his feelings, explain the reason, provide alternatives, and then set a future goal. And then it also uses my other children's names as well to kind of tailor the response. So this is literally my first time using this. You see, I had 15 free messages and now I have 14 remaining. This is really dope. So that's just one use case for the parenting co-pilot. Let's check out another AI. So I'll go home. Let's try a blog writing AI. Okay, blog genie. This looks cool, try it free. Paste a sample of your own writing style can be as long or as short as you like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a blog. So let's go to Hayworth's blog. Okay, I know I love Hayworth. <laughs> uh, so this is their blog. Let's find um, just a random blog on here. Hmm, let's do this one. I haven't even read this, but I'm just gonna copy this blog. All right, I'll hit next. Describe the brand you're writing for and include any details about your brand values, your audience, and any key messages. So say the brand is Hayworth. It's a US-based company that specializes in designing and building office chairs and desks for corporations and people who work from home. So I found these values online. I'm just gonna copy and paste this in there. I'm not even gonna format it, this should be fine. What should your blog post be about? If you'd like to promote something in your post, make sure to include that information here. Yeah, so let's go to the Fern, which is my favorite chair. 
So I'll paste this link. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> this article should be about seven reasons you should invest in an ergonomic office chair if you work from home. I'd like to include a link promoting the Hayworth Fern office chair, which is available in multiple styles and configurations at this link. Boom, send, pasting examples of content you like to imitate. It can be your own text from other sites. Okay, so I'll paste that blog again. Send. Let's see what it comes up with. Wow, wow. So you look, this is the first time I'm using this, <laughs> okay? So you see, it gave me my seven reasons, right? It also linked to the fern here. Okay, it does have the little trademark uh, symbol, which I'd have to fix, but it linked to it. And then it has the overview talking about the goal of the post, right? And then from an SEO perspective, it gives us some keywords, right? An explanation and then next steps. If you wanna modify or expand this blog post in any way, happy to incorporate any feedback to better align with your goals. Once finalized, this can be formatted and published on your site or blog. Wow, wow. So this is way better than chat GPT alone. So I can always go back to personalize it just by updating these prompts. But yeah, this is, this is cool, man. So how does it all work? So UAI is the showcase of AI tools and my studio is what's used to build it. It's an integrated development environment, but check this out, y'all. It's super straightforward and doesn't require any coding. Look, if you know me, you know I haven't written a line of code to this day and I haven't needed to. So this is right up my alley. And that's why I'm bringing it to y'all. Anybody can do this just by following some simple tutorials and they have a ton of templates to start from, which they call scaffolds. But building an AI typically takes less than 30 minutes, depending on your level of customization. But Marshall, I already use ChatGPT. Look, I hear you, but you know your output is only as good as your input, right? So what's so game changing about this platform is that it helps you create tools that gather the right context from the end users to get the most optimized output from ChatGPT or Claude. It's all about context. Let me show you what I mean. So I've shown you what the end users see when you use the AIs available in the showcase, but now I'm going to show you how to create the AIs. So when you're logged in, go down to my studio, then you can either create a new AI from scratch. So you can select the blank scaffold or one of these other scaffolds. These are essentially templates, or you can remix someone else's AI if it's available. So to do that, you have to find one that's remixable. Paid AIs, they can't be remixed, but free ones can. You will see these three dots up here at the top right once you click into an ai and it will say remix so let's go ahead and select remix so this makes an exact copy of the ai that you can start from so in this mind studio interface there are three main areas so on the left this is the personalized training data so remember i talk about the importance of context right so this is where you collect the specific information that you need from the users in order to give them the best output so you would list those here so you can see the prompts that we have so far so if you click over to personalize, you can see the questions listed here for the social media strategist AI. They're either yes or no for this or open type. But if you wanna add a new one, you would click this plus button, then new prompt. Then you can choose the prompt type. You see we have choice, slider, open type, raw data, and there are gonna be more to come. You add your question here. You can add a background image if you want and save it. So this middle section is the prompt area. So this lets the AI know exactly how it should behave and what context to use in order to generate the responses. So you can see how it's set up. It says this assistant is the most powerful and intelligent social media ally to ever exist. Then you can set up some automated workflows. Then you can set up message rules, which are the default messages that your users see. You have model settings where you'll choose which model your AI will use. And publishing is where you'll go to get your AI ready to publish. So this is where you'll add your name, you'll add a description, you can add some tags, you can add your icon and cover image. You can add in your description for the landing page so people will know what the AI is about. Then you can select the visibility, whether you want it to be public or not. And if you're not charging for it, if you want others to be able to duplicate your own AI to create their own. So that's called remixing. And pricing is where you would go to enroll to charge for your AIs if you want to do that. So on the right hand side, you'll see a preview of your landing page and what your AI will look like in search and while social sharing. But if you go back to prompt, you'll notice on the right hand side, there's a terminal. So this is the third main part of the My Studio interface. So this is just where you'll test and chat with your AI. Then once you're done, you can publish it. So you can share a link directly to it or you can embed it on your website. So you could either offer it for free or you could charge a monthly subscription. If you do charge, you take 70% of the fee and you give UAI 30. 
So what types of things can you do with it? Like it would probably be easier to answer what can't you do with it, but UAI is good for learning, makes it easier and more engaging. It's good for content generation, problem solving, data analysis, customer engagement, business strategy. You can use it like a personal assistant, like a vet AI, AI medic, meal planning, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So who's behind it? So Mind Studio is the brainchild of Dimitri Shapiro and his co-founder, Sean Thielen. So I've had the pleasure of connecting with Dimitri through the Ecamm fam. So he's a former product manager at Google. And before that, he was a CTO at MySpace back in the day. So he's built some other businesses, but now he's the CEO of GoMeta Inc., which is the parent company that owns Koji, which is like a way cooler version of Linktree and UAI. And Dimitri's the real deal, y'all. My man was coding in high school in the 80s before I was born. <laughs> he studied electrical engineering, but has only done software engineering, completely self-taught. So this isn't just created by some guy sitting in his basement. That's most of us, right? <laughs> no, they're a real company with real experience and they're backed by some major investors to the tune of $36 million. So their whole angle with my studio is that people who are interested in building user-friendly AIs for themselves or others shouldn't have to be tech savvy prompt engineers and they should be able to make money from these AIs. And since my studio was no code, Anyone can learn how to build an AI business or integrate AI into their current business and workflows. And users should still have the ability to use AI to its fullest potential without knowing all the nerdy stuff behind the scenes. The past year or so, AI has made a huge splash and we all know what's here to stay. Everybody's gonna be impacted in some way. All businesses will be using AIs. But you can be part of this innovation by using My Studio to build these AIs. And it's just the beginning, y'all. So pop on over to UAI using the link in the description, sign up for free, then you can jump in and start using some of the AIs or start building some. And if you want to see me build some live, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But what are your thoughts on all this? Let me know in the comments. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.